Sometimes it is okay not to say everything that's on your mind when you're upset. Especially when you are extremely emotional, whether that's mad, sad, whatever it is, especially mad. I invite you to take a pause because words spoken cannot be taken back. Wait until you're able to calm down to regulate your nervous system from that place of anxiety, anger, that rush of chemicals going through your mind and body, the trigger from the past that is very likely influencing what you're about to say, what you believe to be real and true. If you can pause during this moment to collect your thoughts, to come to a common place, essentially you're going to preserve the fairy tale instead of creating a wound that sometimes cannot be repaired. And faith, certainty, truth, and love of committed lasting connections are about that. It's not just about the la di da sunshine and celebrations and happy times. True love happens in the moments that are hard, when you want to be harsh, when you want to be mean, when you want to just get your hurt out. Just pause for a moment because there's always going to be the opportunity to say the mean things, to say the toxic things, if that's what you really want to do. But if you're going to say all that stuff, make sure it's coming from a calm space. And I truly feel that if you give yourself that time, you're going to choose to say things differently. You are not going to choose to speak to this dark, hurtful stuff that's going to do damage between you. Even if you have something passionate and important to say, you can say it in a way that still makes the other person feel okay. You're okay, they're okay, there's no need to tear each other down no matter what the message is. And many times a good night's sleep, a pause, a rest will completely change your perspective and also bring forward new information. So choose to love. Choose the calm. Don't choose the trigger. Because I guarantee you that in the moment that something makes you that upset, it's going to take you to the path of your greatest darkness, your greatest toxicity, your greatest dark imagining. And the love in the end is more important. The love for yourself, the love for your person, the love for respect and speaking from the greater good, no matter what that means with the message. It doesn't mean that you can't have boundaries. You can't have expectations. You can you can have all of those things in a calm, respectful, uplifting way. And that is the key to communication and connections and relationships. It's basically being a grown up, even if you don't want to. <laughs>